10 Symptoms That Indicate You Are Infected With The Human Immunodeficiency Virus, Recognizing the Early Signs. Ten Symptoms That Indicate You Are Infected With The Human Immunodeficiency Virus, Recognizing the Early Signs. The human immunodeficiency virus is one of the most challenging diseases of the modern world, not only because of its ability to compromise the immune system, but also because many of its early symptoms can go unnoticed or be mistaken for other illnesses. Detecting the human immunodeficiency virus in time is crucial to start appropriate treatment and avoid complications. In this video from Your Health, we will detail 10 symptoms that may indicate an infection with the human immunodeficiency virus, helping you understand the warning signs your body may give. Number 1. Excessive Fatigue Excessive fatigue is one of the first symptoms that may appear after infection with the human immunodeficiency virus. Often this exhaustion appears suddenly and persists, even in people who previously felt completely healthy. It is a deep fatigue that does not improve with rest or disappear after a good night's sleep. This general sense of weakness results from the intense activity of the immune system, which becomes active to combat the virus. During this initial stage, the body expends a large amount of energy trying to defend itself, which can lead to a noticeable decline in physical and mental vitality and performance. This symptom is often attributed to stress, intense workdays or poor sleep habits. However, when fatigue is prolonged and has no apparent cause, it can be a warning sign. If it occurs alongside other symptoms, it is essential to seek medical guidance to confirm or rule out a possible infection with the human immunodeficiency virus. Number 2. Skin rashes. Skin rashes can be one of the first visible signs of an infection with the human immunodeficiency virus. These skin manifestations usually appear as red spots, flat or raised lesions, and can show up in various parts of the body such as the torso, arms, legs, or even the face. The skin, being an active immunological organ, responds quickly to internal changes in the body. In this case, the rashes represent an inflammatory reaction caused by the presence of the virus and the activation of the immune system. Often these lesions may cause itching, burning or sensitivity to touch, leading to persistent discomfort. It is common for them to be mistaken for allergies, fungal infections or dermatitis, which can delay diagnosis. However, if skin rashes last for more than a week, do not respond to common treatments, and appear along with other symptoms, they should be considered a warning sign. In case of any suspicion, it is essential to consult a healthcare professional and request specific testing to rule out a possible infection with the human immunodeficiency virus. Number 3. Night Sweats Intense night sweats can be one of the early warning signs following infection with the human immunodeficiency virus. Unlike normal sweating caused by heat or excess clothing, these night sweats are not related to room temperature and often occur even in cool, well-ventilated environments. During the night, the person may wake up drenched in sweat, with soaked clothes and sheets, which interferes with sleep quality and causes fatigue the next day. These episodes may repeat for several consecutive nights without an apparent cause and are often accompanied by other symptoms such as low-grade fever, chills, or general discomfort. The origin of these sweats lies in the immune system's response which goes into alert mode due to the presence of the virus and causes changes in body temperature regulation. Due to their intensity and persistence, night sweats should be taken seriously. If this symptom appears alongside other signs mentioned, it is essential to seek medical attention and undergo specific testing for the human immunodeficiency virus. Number 4. Fever and Chills Fever, especially when mild but persistent, is one of the most common early symptoms after infection with the human immunodeficiency virus. This rise in body temperature, often accompanied by chills, reflects the activation of the immune system in response to the virus. Frequently, the fever appears intermittently, without an obvious cause, and can last from a few days to more than a week. It typically does not reach very high temperatures, which may cause it to go unnoticed or be mistaken for a mild flu or another viral infection. However, in the context of other symptoms like night sweats, fatigue, or skin rashes, it becomes more relevant. Chills may occur even in warm environments and usually accompany fever episodes, reinforcing the general feeling of discomfort. If low-grade fever persists without a clear explanation, the possibility of infection with the human immunodeficiency virus should be considered, and a full medical evaluation should be sought. Number 5. Sore Throat a sore throat is another symptom that may appear in the early stages of infection with the human immunodeficiency virus. Although it is a common sign in many viral illnesses, its persistence and specific characteristics may indicate a more serious condition than a passing cold. In the case of human immunodeficiency virus, 
The sore throat is usually related to inflammation caused by the immune system's response to the virus. Unlike bacterial infections such as tonsillitis, this type of sore throat typically does not present with white patches, pus, or discharge, but may cause intense redness, pain when swallowing, and a continuous feeling of irritation. Often, it is a mild to moderate pain that does not improve over time or with common anti-inflammatory medication. When this symptom appears along with others such as persistent fever, night sweats or excessive fatigue, it should be seen as a warning sign. Seeking medical guidance is essential to confirm or rule out a possible infection with the human immunodeficiency virus. Number 6. Lymphadenopathy, Swollen Lymph Nodes Lymphadenopathy, which means swollen lymph nodes, is a common symptom in the early phases of infection with the human immunodeficiency virus. Lymph nodes are key components of the immune system, responsible for filtering harmful substances and housing defense cells. They are mainly located in the neck, armpits, and groin areas. When the body detects a threat, such as the presence of the human immunodeficiency virus, these lymph nodes may enlarge as part of the immune response. In many cases the swelling is noticeable by touch and may be accompanied by tenderness or mild pain in the affected area. Unlike swelling caused by a common infection, lymphadenopathy related to the human immunodeficiency virus can last for several weeks and affect multiple areas of the body simultaneously. This persistence is a sign that the immune system is under pressure. Therefore, if swollen lymph nodes are detected without a clear cause, it is essential to seek medical advice and undergo specific tests to detect a possible infection by this virus. Number 7. Persistent Diarrhea Persistent diarrhea can be an early manifestation of infection with the human immunodeficiency virus, especially when it is not related to a known dietary or infectious cause. This symptom occurs when the virus directly affects the digestive system, disrupting the function of the intestines and damaging the intestinal villi responsible for nutrient absorption. As the immune system weakens, the gastrointestinal tract also suffers the consequences. This may lead to frequent episodes of watery diarrhea lasting more than a week, which do not improve with conventional treatments or dietary changes. It may also be accompanied by abdominal pain, cramps, weight loss, or signs of dehydration. Prolonged diarrhea not only lowers quality of life, but may also accelerate malnutrition and worsen overall health. Therefore, when this symptom persists without a clear cause, it should be seriously considered as a possible sign of infection with the human immunodeficiency virus. Consulting a healthcare professional is essential to receive an accurate diagnosis and proper treatment. Number 8. Ulcers in the mouth and genital area. The appearance of ulcers in the mouth, gums, or genital region can be one of the first visible signs of infection with the human immunodeficiency virus. These lesions, usually painful, present as open sores that are red or whitish in color and may interfere with eating, hygiene, and sexual activity. In the mouth, the ulcers may appear on the tongue, palate, inside the cheeks, or gums, causing burning or sensitivity when talking or eating. In the genital area, they may be mistaken for other sexually transmitted infections, which often delays the correct diagnosis. These ulcers arise due to the weakening of the immune system and are worsened by inflammation caused by the virus. They also increase the risk of secondary, more severe infections. When these lesions are persistent, recurrent, or appear alongside other symptoms such as fever, fatigue, or swollen lymph nodes, it is essential to seek medical attention. Early diagnosis can prevent complications and allow timely treatment to control the progression of the human immunodeficiency virus. Number 9. Muscle and Joint Pain Muscle and joint pain, also known as myalgia and arthralgia, are common symptoms in the early stages of infection with the human immunodeficiency virus. These pains can affect various parts of the body in a generalized way, and in many cases appear without a clear cause such as physical exertion, trauma, or rheumatological conditions. The origin of this discomfort lies in the inflammatory response of the immune system when it detects the presence of the virus. In its attempt to fight the infection, the body releases substances that can cause inflammation in muscles and joints, resulting in pain, stiffness, or sensitivity during movement. These symptoms are often mistaken for the flu, stress-related fatigue, or even chronic conditions such as fibromyalgia or arthritis. However, when the pain lasts for several days, increases in intensity, or is accompanied by fever, extreme fatigue or other previously mentioned signs, it is important to consider it a possible indicator of infection with the human immunodeficiency virus. In such cases, seeking medical guidance and undergoing specific testing is essential for early diagnosis and proper treatment. Number 10. Unexplained Weight Loss 
Unexplained weight loss is one of the most concerning signs associated with infection by the human immunodeficiency virus, especially when it happens rapidly and progressively. This symptom may appear in both the early and later stages of the infection, and typically reflects significant physical decline. Several factors may contribute to this weight loss, including loss of appetite, persistent diarrhea, nausea or vomiting, as well as increased energy expenditure as the body tries to fight the virus. Over time this condition can lead to malnutrition, muscle wasting and reduced quality of life. When someone notices they are losing weight without changes in diet or physical activity level, attention should be paid. If this weight loss is accompanied by other symptoms such as fatigue, fever, or recurrent infections, infection with the human immunodeficiency virus should be considered and medical guidance sought as soon as possible. Understanding the difference between the human immunodeficiency virus and acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. Although many people use the terms human immunodeficiency virus and acquired immunodeficiency syndrome interchangeably, it is essential to understand the difference between the two. The human immunodeficiency virus is the virus that causes acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. This virus attacks the T cells of the immune system, particularly the CD4 lymphocytes which are essential for coordinating the body's immune response. Without treatment, the human immunodeficiency virus can progress to acquired immunodeficiency syndrome, a stage of the disease in which the immune system becomes so compromised that the body becomes vulnerable to opportunistic infections and certain types of cancer that would not normally affect individuals with a healthy immune system. The clinical latency period and the importance of early diagnosis. After the initial infection with the human immunodeficiency virus, some individuals may remain asymptomatic for years. This period is known as clinical latency, during which the virus continues replicating silently, causing damage to the immune system. During this phase the person may not show obvious symptoms, but the virus remains active, destroying T-cells and gradually compromising the body's ability to fight infections. This makes early diagnosis even more crucial, through specific blood tests for the human immunodeficiency virus, which detect either antibodies against the virus, or the virus's genetic material itself. The importance of treatment with antiretroviral medication. Once the infection with the human immunodeficiency virus is diagnosed, treatment with antiretroviral medication becomes the standard care strategy. These medications prevent the virus from replicating, helping to preserve immune function and improve the patient's quality of life. In addition to preventing progression to acquired immunodeficiency syndrome, Antiretroviral medications also significantly reduce the risk of transmitting the virus to other people. Early and continuous treatment allows many individuals living with the human immunodeficiency virus to maintain long, healthy lives. The need for awareness and rapid action. Recognizing the early symptoms of the human immunodeficiency virus is essential for timely diagnosis and treatment. Although many of the symptoms may be attributed to other conditions, the combination of multiple warning signs should prompt testing for the human immunodeficiency virus and consultation with a healthcare professional. Early detection not only improves treatment outcomes but also plays a vital role in preventing transmission of the virus to others. Ongoing awareness and education about the symptoms and the importance of testing are fundamental in the global fight against this disease. Is there a vaccine for the human immunodeficiency virus? Recent advances in treatment and research. Currently there is no effective vaccine to prevent infection with the human immunodeficiency virus, although this is an area of intense research and development within the global scientific community. The quest for a vaccine is a complex challenge due to the unique nature of the virus, which has a high capacity for mutation and genetic diversity, making it difficult to create a strong and long-lasting immune response. However, in recent decades there have been significant advances in both treatment and research toward a possible vaccine. Challenges in developing a vaccine for the human immunodeficiency virus. Developing an effective vaccine against the human immunodeficiency virus is one of the greatest scientific challenges of recent decades. Unlike other viruses, the human immunodeficiency virus has unique characteristics that make it difficult to formulate a protective and long-lasting immune response through vaccination. One of the main obstacles is the high genetic variability of the virus. It has an exceptional ability to mutate, resulting in multiple variants and subtypes circulating simultaneously in different parts of the world. This genetic diversity means that a vaccine effective against one strain may not offer protection against others, limiting its global effectiveness. 
Another key challenge is the inadequate immune response triggered by the virus itself. The human immunodeficiency virus directly attacks the cells responsible for coordinating the body's defense, especially the CD4 lymphocytes. By weakening these components of the immune system from the beginning of the infection, the virus prevents the body from mounting an effective response, which also complicates the preventive action expected from a vaccine. Finally, there are the so-called latent viral reservoirs, which represent a critical barrier. Even when antiretroviral treatment successfully reduces the virus to undetectable levels in the blood, it can remain hidden in certain tissues of the body. These reservoirs are not reached by the immune system or current treatments, making complete eradication difficult and hindering the development of a definitive universal vaccine. These three combined factors make developing a vaccine against the human immunodeficiency virus complex and require innovative multidisciplinary approaches. Recent Advances in Vaccine Research Despite the challenges, there have been important advances in vaccine research against the human immunodeficiency virus. Some of the most notable include viral vector and messenger ribonucleic acid vaccines. Inspired by the success of messenger ribonucleic acid vaccines for the disease caused by the new coronavirus, such as those developed by Pfizer BioNTech and Moderna, there is renewed interest in using similar technologies for the human immunodeficiency virus. These vaccines work by instructing the body to produce proteins that trigger an immune response. Several clinical trials using messenger ribonucleic acid vaccines for the human immunodeficiency virus are underway, exploring their potential to induce an effective immune reaction. Vaccines based on broadly neutralizing antibodies. This strategy explores antibodies capable of neutralizing multiple strains of the virus. Recent studies have focused on developing vaccines that induce the production of these antibodies, which have shown effectiveness in neutralizing a wide range of human immunodeficiency virus variants.